We're off. We're off. We're ready. We're good to go. Sweet. So, <laughs> welcome to the nine ball final of term three. I'm, I'm actually very keen. This is a really interesting matchup. Yeah. Um, different. Very different to what we expected, what we wanted, but I'm happy that I'm here. We, I'm happy that we have got two great players today. Yeah, we normally get some regular faces um, yeah. at, by the end of finals, but today there are some not regular faces. Not I mean, irregular. Irregular faces. <laughs> yeah, That's it. Um, Renee, introduce yourself, brother. Uh, my name is Renee Liu. I'm a uh, first year uni at UNSW. Yep. Um, I'm part of the QSOC subcommittee uh, doing events. Um, my man, that's it. So, Mark Eha, of course, oh, yeah. is uh, our, our main main host here today. Host, oh, yeah. well, commentator. It's, first so. of all, it's great to be here. It's uh, great to be with Renee as well, but most importantly, here to watch some good pool. Yeah. Uh, I have not seen some good nine ball in a while from QSOC, so this is the time when we're going to get the best nine ball that we can. That we deserve. <laughs> nine ball league turn two, great, great, great video, <laughs> yeah, guys. Loved it. We're lacking some views on that video. Yeah. I think um, I think you guys should go check it out if you, you want. You can go hear my. Uh, I was very tired. Commentated an hour and a half. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, an hour and a half. Of pure, pure greatness. Brilliance. Um, yes. Brilliance. Um, no sarcasm there at all, guys. Anyway, back to the batch. Before we forget. Uh, we are looking at who won the lag. Do we won the lag? Do we won the lag? He's racking currently. Um, yes. And he's up against Aryan. Um, both exceptional players. Um, Do we? I've been watching all day. Daniel. Daniel Wu. Daniel Wu. So he's in uh, end of second year. End of second year, I believe it's Yusid. Yusid. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's been playing exceptional all day today. Um, he's looking a bit weary, but he's been playing really well. Aryan also on fire all day today. He's a uh, fourth year UNSW. So difference in experience. There's a huge difference in experience here between the two players. Yeah, um, Aryan Aryan by far is just a great potter all around. Yeah, um, and great break from Daniel. And if you remember my uh, last set of commentary, I was uh, going off a bit about Aryan's breaking. I was really excited. He was. I think it, um, I don't know if you were there, Rene, last week, but we got to see Aryan play the uh, Scotch Doubles final and he managed out of the four breaks, three breaks he was potting three balls in the eight ball. Wow, so really? his breaking is it was pretty good, especially for Bowood. Now we're obviously at Town Hall now, so it's a different kind of story. Yeah. Daniel off with a great break. Unfortunate with the one ball position. Yeah, ball. Roll, that rolled pretty badly. That didn't roll too well. Um, it's just the cue ball control thing. They're both great breakers. Yeah. Um, Daniel unfortunate with the safety pump yeah. for seven. Didn't didn't work out too well. Didn't work out too well. Narin here looking to pot the one ball in the top left corner. He's in the zone. Yeah. Yeah. Nice pot. That was actually a good position. Good there. pot. Yeah. Hey, what do you reckon, Mark? Earphones or no earphones? Because we're watching, looking at Narin here. He's wearing earphones. It depends on preference. I think for me, no. No I, earphones? I, I even stopped playing with a glove. I don't know. I've, I've noticed that... Um, Sometimes yeah, I, I, I'm not one person who needs to go all out with the uh, accessories. I'm not like you, Renee. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, true. No, nah, you're, yeah, I'm not, I'm not discrediting it. Each their own, obviously. Just with, but I think it just comes down to comfort. Personally, with earphones, I feel like it takes away from the pressure a little bit. So yeah. I don't want to wear them. But of course, if it's loud and the environment's a bit shit. Oh, um, it is very loud today. Oh, it is a uh, Saturday, almost evening, at Town Hall. So it's the loudest it's going to get. Right before the HSC as well. Right before the HSC, exactly. Yeah. Aryan's uh, running really well. It was a great shot on the six ball to get Ooh, position for yeah. seven. Good run there. Beautiful. Look at the position there. I mean, a bit unconventional to come up like that, but... I think it was right. Yeah, uh, the, definitely top. the right thing to do. The sun over. I'm beautiful. beautiful. Wow. Man. Great. Wow, so that's a uh, one visit clearance, is it? Or? Yep, that was a run out from the run out. one. A uh, run out from the one. That's talent. That is talent. When, when QSOC produces stuff like that, I'm a happy man. Because we're just amateurs. We're not professionals. We're not yeah. anything crazy. So yeah, scores 1-0. We are racing to seven. It is winner's break. Uh, nothing much to say. Two at the rear, one on the head spot. Yep. Um, nothing too special. We don't yeah. have, we're not running any three balls over the head string rule. Yeah. We're not running the European Open rules where you've got the break box. The break box. Oh, can't do that. That's sucking. That's too hard. 
for, for, for amateurs. It was funny. For amateur levels. Funny because plenty of golden breaks on that arm. Oh, beautiful break. Wow, that's a machine. Look at that. Is that that's two. Two balls on the break in nine holes. Not easy. Hugh Wall controls a bit off. You don't you wanna park it in the middle or you wanna bring it back because you know the two ball's gonna go over the head string. Yeah. Um, but I think Arians. He's got a gap to shoot the two, make it past the eight. Oh, he's looking to play safe, I think. It's the waves. I thought he would maybe just go for the pot. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my bad. <laughs> it's hard to tell when they're going at such a distance. You don't know whether they're going for a safe or just seated at an off angle, so it's pretty yeah, hard yeah, to yeah. see. From where we are, yeah. Uh, the uh, the three ball here, though, tricky. I think the three ball goes. It goes, yeah, it's tricky, though. Good so, shot, two to a three. Yeah, right and right great over. control, yeah. Mm. Looking to come two rails, I believe, from four. So, one, two, possibly a third. Yeah, third rail, brilliant. Lovely. I, that's that's fantastic. Yeah, Good shot. Yeah, you got to now make sure with this one you don't hit it too far out past the seven. This is one of those shots you need to control it. You can come forward and around the front side of the seven, or yeah. See, he played <laughs> that soft. It worked. But he's got, he's on the back end of a positional cone so he's got actually yeah. a lot of room to work with exactly which is good there we go and are in are we looking at a run out here now it's from I eight to nine it's, it's hard break it's hard out. it's he's hard looking at it just needs to push the ball push it forward push it forward beautiful good conservative play he's yeah. a little oh, a little far and the cut's not an easy one here you just have to overcome that distance and make sure you get the, the angle exactly right aaron has been playing quite quickly, so as long as he just takes a second to breathe and think about it, I think it should be okay. He's feeling good. I think yeah. he's... Because um, if you it. choke this one, could be a loss of frame despite all that hard work. There we go. One, I spoke too soon, didn't I? One all still isn't that bad. I would still go for the pot. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, no, I, as would I, but you just have to be very careful with those ones. Even consider, okay, what happens if I miss? Yeah, so definitely. Um, got the roll, played it safe. I think DeWoo's looking to play safe again. By the way, if we say DeWoo, we're talking about Daniel <laughs> Wu. Everyone just calls him DeWoo. There we go. And I'm fortunate with that role. There we go. Yeah, no, I think he... I don't know if he was trying to go for a safety. Yeah, he, sure. he was trying to maybe go for a pot, but just undercut it. It would have been the right option to play. Um, I think now. if you're going for a pot, you have to play a lot of... Well, I would play a lot of side just to make sure you can get that angle in. But again, very hard. Well, plenty of right hand side to definitely. throw it around. Exactly. And there is no, Beautiful. with that angle there, there wasn't a scratch. Beautiful. Aaron, a player of class, leading the score 2 0. Beautiful. I actually want to talk about Aaron's performance today. Speaking of him, he, uh, he had a good day. He had a really good day, but I don't want to discredit the opponents he's taken on. In uh, his first round, obviously, he had a very nice and easy bye. Second round, taking on Ricky. I actually didn't watch that game. Did you uh, uh, see I parts of it? You're, you're good friends with Ricky, so yeah. So I've been I've been helping Ricky out a little bit. Um, Ricky Ricky played well that game. He, he was feeling good all day. I believe it was a tight score. What, what, what was the score? Uh, it says five nil oh, here. Five nil. Not a tight score. <laughs> Not My a tight bad. score. My bad. Um, big break from Mario. Oh, the two. Money. And good control on the cue ball. Leaves the one on a very easy shot. Three ball over the side pocket and yeah. four into the corner. I yeah. think he's looking at another run out here. Lovely. Pretty open table. Yeah. Um, Q-Shot doesn't feature it. that many people who can actually run racks of nine ball. It's uh, it's a different game. As with ten as well, you get only two or three people maybe a year <laughs> who can have a chance at going for it and consistently doing it in a race to seven, for example, getting one or two. Yeah, that was a risky shot there. Um, but good line. Mm. Came right behind the nine bit hard from the four to the five. I think the Tricky. I think he shot. wants to pop it out, yeah. Lovely, yeah. I think that cuts. It does cut into the corner, cut, yes. Yeah. But the position, scratch. it's on the wrong side of the five to get to the six. Yeah. Possible scratch if he plays draw as well, so you just have to be careful. Well, he wouldn't play yeah. draw. You wouldn't play draw, exactly. But, but that was the right shot. Exactly. Ooh, and he's landed, yeah, uh, he's landed badly. Now, Aryan isn't someone who uh, who jumps, is he? I don't believe so. So he had to go one rail. And he's landed it pretty good. Oh, very good, actually. Look at that. Quite lucky. Quite yeah. Lucky. 
Just a hair behind the nine, left for six seed. Yeah. Yeah, so Arian's been playing well. 5 0 against Ricky. Yeah. Uh, what was his next? Uh, so he played against XJ next. Uh, I actually heard from someone that he was down 6 4 against XJ. Yeah. He fluked a nine in yeah. his fourth frame, in his, in his fifth frame, he, yeah. to make it a 6 5. And then in the next one, he had a golden break, making Brilliant. it 6 all. Wow. And then in his last one, he had a run out. So he actually managed to make it 7 6. From a good player, actually, to a good player, actually. XJ, XJ very good. has an eight ball, Chinese eight ball background. So he's a very strong potter. Yeah, especially. Um, cue ball controls a bit of his, a bit of a weakness. Yeah. Um, but great potter nonetheless. Yeah, that definitely. That can't be discredited. So I think Arian's looking to play quite simple. Yeah. Six into one side, I think with seven the ball into in the hand, other. With ball in hand here, yeah, just go side, side, and then corner eight, for the roll eight. Forward, roll nine forward, nine exactly. Yeah. We're thinking the same, we're thinking the same. I like it. <laughs> and here he goes. Let's see Let's let's see him do exactly what we said. If he, if he doesn't do exactly what, he, what we said, I'm going to be a bit concerned, but he might. the execution should be pretty much there. Nice. Uh, that's good, yeah. Perfect. Uh, he needs to be on the left side of the eight to come off the long rail just to make sure the cue ball checks up a little bit. Beautiful. Yeah. Lovely. And that should bring the score to 3 0. 3 0. Great day today. Yeah. 3 0. So, uh, Arian in his semi finals took on Matt. Matt Jang. Matt, Matt Jang. So I got knocked out by Matt first round. I had a bye first round. Yeah. Matt, Matt was playing exceptional. Has been playing exceptional today. Um, oh yeah, I haven't seen much of him, but he's back in form. Yeah, I think I think way. after league finals he uh, started practicing again, so he's back in it. He's yeah. uh, playing this season now of league, our uh, eight ball league. We're back into it. You are you playing that, Renee? Or? I am playing eight ball and league. And how you how you finding how you enjoying it? Uh, eight ball league's good fun, better than nine ball league. I have to agree. With you <laughs> I do have yeah. to agree with you. Yeah, uh, it really depends on who you play on a team with as well. But I mean, for the most part, everyone here is lovely. Everyone's really fun. Yeah, so. no, it's the great vibe all around. Yeah, um, like it's a, it's actually a great way to spend your Monday night. Yeah, I, exactly. I found like Monday nights are one of the worst nights just in general. Yeah. So to come and play pool, it just sort of eases everything. Makes your Tuesday feel easy. Well, if you've really got the Monday itis, you look forward to Monday night at least, just so you can play some leagues. Exactly. Know. Not League of Legends, but <laughs> no, yeah. you play some April League, you know, yeah. makes it a bit nicer. Um, mm. Something to look forward to just after Sundays, you know? Yeah, exactly. Iron's looking primed. Oh, that's, that's, big break. that's huge. That's huge. That is the cue ball huge. right in the middle. Oh, but yeah, you want to get the cue ball center table on your breaks. Definitely. The one ball, so generally with any wing break, wing cue ball break position, the one will either fall into the the same side you're breaking on, or it'll double into the opposing corner. Exactly, yeah. Um, or it'll stay over that corner, or stay in the middle if yeah. if the one ball doesn't pot. If it doesn't and pot. And so yeah. you do want to park the cue ball in the middle. Um, mm, yeah. If you look at Copen Yee's break, he's got a he does the exact same break except he controls the one ball so it doubles into the doubles over the corner over the corner okay. and the cue ball parks straight in the middle always has a shot on the one yeah prime for the run out every time yeah um, that's generally what a good breaker does shape man burning same dim, similar idea um he doesn't bridge on the rail though um though he's just an excellent breaker in general yeah. so. years of practice that's for sure so one interesting thing about Daniel today that I've noticed is that he's changing between cues all the time. What do you reckon with that, Mark? Changing between cues as in between playing cues? Yeah, between playing cues. So he's oh, so, who's, so whose does he have now? Are these all his own? Yeah, these are all his own. So he's running a so, mez with a synergy yeah. um, half the time, and then he's running a predator with a revo the <laughs> other half of the time, and he's constantly changing. Yay or nay for you, Mark? What do you reckon? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look, I actually think that again, it comes down to comfort, but yeah. a bit weird. <laughs> a bit weird. A bit weird. Big shot on the one ball by Aria. I actually shared my uh, shaft for sorry, my butt for uh, breaking and oh. laying, but uh, recently I broke my shaft. No. We all know you would break your shaft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you of all people would do it. Yeah, of course. That, uh, and then after that moment, I thought, you know. And I'm, I, I do like to play with emotion. I do like to play with a lot of emotion, but sometimes you just gotta hold it in a bit. Yeah. yeah. 
game's a mental game for sure. Yeah. It's a bad miss on the two ball by Arian, um, but he's left quite safe from Daniel. Oh, miscue there, but still not a foul. The, uh, you got the blind angle, obviously, to pot with there. Yeah. Arian looking to pot the uh, cross corner, so interesting. Or, or not. The three doesn't cover the corner pocket. Yeah. But it can be a little bit... It can play with your eyes a little bit. Yeah, it can. Um, Especially when you're down making the shot. Everything yeah. looks a bit different. But it's looking like he wants to cut it into the same corner. So... There you go. Yeah. Perfect... Wow. Perfect control so, off the so rail. He, yeah, he drew that into the rail really nicely. It's, uh, it's hard to get good stick. Especially when you don't know how the rails work. So I think the way he played it's fine and yeah. where he's landed is okay. Just have to make sure that you're careful like it was just then. It's good either way with that three ball that you could land e either side. Come two rails like he did if he landed on the side he did. Or yeah. if he lands on the opposite side, you just roll it up one rail. You really yeah. got to control that pace, however. And I'm lucky with a scratch. I'm lucky scratch there, yeah. I didn't really see that scratch, to be honest. It was, uh, Bit of a difficult one, but Dewu going for an ambitious combo here from four to nine. Very doable. Nine, but right over a big pocket. Yeah, so. he's got. He's definitely got the chance. Definitely got the time to end it. Brilliant. So and that brings man, three one. Three one. Dewu's back in it, putting up a decent fight today. But I mean, Arian's a man of class. He looks tired though. He looks tired. Yeah, it's uh, it's four o'clock. We started at ten, so it's been six hours. We've uh, we've in, we've increased race length slightly, as you can see. Our quarterfinals were races to seven. And our semi-finals were also races to seven, as is this one. So, yeah, fatigue can play a big factor and a big part. Arian, Arian, Dewu, obviously good friends. They yeah. are. They even went to go get on fro frozen drinks. Yeah, before, before frozen cokes. Yeah, frozen coke because we got the hungry jacks next door. It uh, always works out really nice. Too easy. It's too, too easy. easy. Yeah. It's easy to get fat too. <laughs> Actually, um. Speaking of, uh, so earlier we were mentioning uh, what Dewu's playing cues. What's uh, what's Aaron playing with today? Aaron's playing with a Predator Sport uh, Sport Two. Uh, yep. From what I've heard, Lockie's kindly gifted it to him, and um, Aaron's playing with a Qtech Synergy Shaft. Qtech Synergy uh, Shaft. What, so what butt is he using with that? Predator Sport. Pred oh, Predator yeah. Sport. You're saying it's the butt to yeah. the shaft, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I think it's a spectacular looking setup. Just that ruby red looks yeah. good. Um, but of course, we're not here to talk about cues. We're here to talk about the pool. The pool, yeah. Good break by Dewu. Cue ball parks over the side pocket, and one ball. One's hanging. It's a nice. It's a nice break, actually. Nice Control. Break. It's. What's it, um? What's Arian used to break actually? So has he got the uh, BK rush? Or? Arian's Arian's done a cheeky. He's um borrowing Daniel's break key. Ah oh, yeah. Uh, not a fan of people doing that to be honest. <laughs> I think if you're gonna play the game, you should probably get your own shit. But fair oops, enough. I don't. Nah, you're right. Um, but okay. decent control there. But I would have liked to have seen a bit more movement with the cue ball. Could have, could have I brought it down towards the two a little more. Definitely. Um, too much though. You could hang on, hang way too short onto the two. Exactly. Like yeah. way too close, and it's not great. That was a beautiful shot by Dewu. I liked what he did there, yeah. I liked what he did there. Three to the four is the tough shot of this rack. Definitely the key, key shot. Um, what I'm thinking is he comes off the long rail twice. Um, oh, actually, that's the wrong shot. My bad. Bad read, guys. Mm. Uh, what are you thinking, Mark? It's definitely a tough shot. It's hard, yeah. If you play top, obviously, you'll get it on the wrong side of the five. So it will either run into the five or stay on that end. So definitely can't play top. You have to play draw. And I think if you play draw, you might need to play bottom left or bottom right. to it's bottom right. Try and pop it out. Yeah, so he's got bottom right there. Well, if he plays bottom right with more draw, he would come behind the 8-9, and that's not a great side to be on. Yeah. There you go. So he's obviously avoided the scratch, but missed the pot. Doesn't matter sometimes how well the position is or how well the uh, thought is. You just have to get the pot. That's really all that matters. It's a very touchy shot, um, but you need to play plenty of pot pace, oh, especially yeah, you need slower pace tables here. in the city. Um, yeah, you need to go decent pace here because it's very straight as well. This one. Yeah, there we go. So here we go. Arian's hung up behind the nine, so oh, that's what go. Daniel would have had to contend with. We played straight. Draw. Exactly. Yeah. Um, very good kick. Oh, good kick, good escape, but no good 
to get out. Now, Daniel's actually been jumping pretty well today. Daniel's made some good jump shots. I believe he made a good jump shot against Lockie on the second last frame. In the third last? Yeah, in the semi-finals. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, speaking of Daniel, actually, we can go through his performance today. So he started off against Yang with a nice 5-3 win. Moving on, beating Jason 5-4. Jason, uh, brilliant player. Jason, new player sort of running through the ranks of QSOC. But yeah. uh, Daniel to take him down on the hill. Jason, Jason's an exceptionally naturally talented player. Yes. Um, I've, I'm obviously in the city with him all day, every day pretty much. And um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I see him play all the time. Um, works hard. Yeah. Nothing much to say really, He's just a solid player. Um, yeah. We, uh, we got to see him a little bit in the Inter-Uni final, but I haven't seen much more of him since then. I think you would, obviously, since you pretty much live here, Renee. Yeah, I pretty, I, yeah. <laughs> every day, every, all day, every day. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, he's, he knows what to do. Yeah. He's got plenty of experience. Um, strong, strong potter, definitely. Yeah, yeah much definitely. And um, then taking down Johnny in the uh, quarterfinal 7-3. That was nice definitely, to see that. definitely more of a friendly match. Um, friendly matchup. Yeah. So you get them. We actually had a couple of people not rock up today, so yeah. you get to see a lot of friendly matches and people that you know, because you know, everyone here is obviously good friends. It's, it's nice. Obviously, the QSOC second year crowd is quite tight. Yeah. Like, it's quite a tight group. Um, so everyone's here watching, um, supporting, and yeah, it's just a nice, nice game overall. Definitely. And then moving on to our semi-final performance from uh, Daniel, obviously, taking Lockie down 7-5. Now, Lockie was down 6-3, I think. He did claw his yes. way back two frames. And the boys were happy to see the Wu take the win. I'm, I actually played against Lockie, and I probably didn't have more than 10 visits at the table in a race to seven. You almost got, you almost got washed. Washed. Washed 7-1. Yeah. I saw he was up 5-0. Five, nil. Five nil nil so, I was yeah. seven, so I lost 7-1. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the times I was coming to the table, didn't really have a shot. <laughs> yeah, Lockie, yeah. I think Lockie spent his a good fortune and roll his... on you. Yeah, he got a lot of his energy out against me and uh, a bit more tired, yeah. Tricky. Do is luckily, uh, luckily or unluckily, come off the come off the jaw of the side mm -hmm. Are you needing these next three rolls to uh, take good control of the match? Here we go, avoided the scratch very luckily. But okay. how's he looking on the eight? Arian's with great manners right now. One hand on the phone, the other hand looking at the tape, <laughs> looking on the queue, eyes on the table. What's going on here? Changing, changing his uh, song probably. That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, he tried cutting it. So ambitious, ambitious approach. Yeah. Look, he was looking at the phone while you're on the table. You're bad to set up for something bad. So <laughs> probably should put that phone down. I right. always have my phone away when I play. I can't, I like, I, I am very, uh, can focus on one thing at one time. Yes. I yeah. can't multitask. I'm not like that, unfortunately. Yeah. Do we taking his time here? Because it's is a, a hard cut. Very hard. Very hard cut. And yes. very hard to play it forward as well. So really the last thing you'd want to consider because the uh, potting angle for, you know, the angle of error you can make is quite low, so... Well, it's not a scratching angle. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, well, outplaying a fair bit. Played that quite wrong. The cue ball's rolling into the corner pocket. It's not got enough legs to roll no, in. Though. got enough legs to roll in, you're right. And he's landed it safe, very luckily. Yeah. Aaron looking to now kick long kick table. Kick short, short rail and back up. Full table kick, yeah. Mm. Not a connection. Do we with a chance now? This is the chance you don't want to miss. This I think is. if you just play the uh, cue ball slightly out from the rail, play it the uh, shorter distance as opposed to the longer distance with ball in hand. I would just, if I was Dewey, I'd obviously want to get the cue ball off the uh, off the rail, but just make sure obviously you pop the eight. Yeah, I think that's enough. It's textbook. Just enough, yeah. You obviously, if you're on the rail, you obviously don't want to land a dead straight, otherwise you've only got options to play top. Yeah. A slow roll under pressure is quite difficult. To yeah, do. he got it. Nailed it. Good. And he's back in the game now. 3-2. Laps in focus from Iron has led to Dewu sailing into 3-2. So Dewu's uh, looking to sabotage Iron's cubo dropping. <laughs> Very kind of him. <laughs> Good day though, otherwise, uh, any other matches that you witnessed that you were uh, 
happy to see. It's, not, it's just been a good day of nine ball. Yeah, I, was, yeah. I was more focused on my own match. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I wasn't course. really looking around. That's um, it. And and you had it pretty tough, obviously, against. Um, yeah, I've been playing. I've been playing a lot recently, so I think against I'm Against Matt, like, yeah. Not Matt. Uh, well, well, I said you played against Matt, but you've just yes. been playing a lot recently. I've been yeah, playing yeah, a lot recently, and I think I'm hitting that... I'm just sort of in that slump for now. Yeah. Um, just sort of time time, time coming into this comp, comp role. Yeah. But, um, it's just how it goes. Have it's, good days, have bad It's days. interesting because uh, Lockie was in a slump recently, I noticed. He uh, had a really bad competition run from someone who was, you know, making semi-finals when he was in first year and second year. And then start start to middle of his third year, tricky. I, I reckon I, I reckon Lockie's peaked already. You know, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking Please, president next year, still. You know. <laughs> yeah. Decent break from Dewu though, but dry. Yeah. How's your breaking been today? Uh, breaking's been good. I've been experimenting a little bit. Uh, I usually break on break on the left side, uh, right on the rail. Today I've chose to break. Um, on yeah. the right side, um, just half a diamond off the corner pocket. Yeah, um, and, and actually explain the science to, to that. So my idea, my idea, I've just been looking at Shane break on, on his nine ball back in uh, back last year. I think he used that break on the uh, US Open. Um, he, it's a bit of a cut break, so you swing at one rail off. The cue ball comes off one rail, parks in the middle. Um, one ball, the one ball comes up doubles and then hovers over the opposing corner mm -hmm. and the two ball uh, obviously the wing ball goes in and the two ball comes off table as well so you've got yeah, a okay. nice one yeah. two which you wanna, are you want to strategize that exactly yeah and the because um, when you play a nine ball the one ball and the one two three and four are obviously the hardest balls to play and that's where the real game yeah the real game between the two players is because if you've not got a shot on the one, um, you're playing a safety, um, or you're trying to kick at it. It's just, yeah. But then after five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's where the table's pretty open, and that's where exactly. you want to start running. Yeah, um, exactly. If you don't clear there, then your opponent's probably going to clear up. And have you found that a lot of players are tending to use a similar strategy? Uh, Especially from today, or not really? No, a lot of people are choosing the rail break, which is quite conventional. Yeah. Um, guaranteed to make the wing ball. If you're not doing that break right, you won't get the control that you want from the cue ball. Okay. So Arian's Arian's break breaking really really hard today. Lots of the time, parks the cue ball in the middle once. Lots of the time, he's hitting straight top and he's coming off the top rail. Definitely. Just probably yeah. kissing some other balls and just staying there, which isn't what you want. Yeah, um, definitely. The Woo the Woo's also doing pretty good. Um, same as Arian. Otherwise, yeah. Big breaks so though. Trying to pot as many balls as, as they can on the break, which is at this level what you, what we want. Just because we want to we want to make the table as easy as we can. Now this rack's looking a bit bit cooked. Uh, yeah. Five, seven, eight, nine are all in one cluster. Yeah. Four balls going over there. And He's just added it good. sort of to the back end of the cluster. You still got a shot. You can play short side on the five into the bottom side pocket. The right side pocket. Yeah. Um, however, it's looking like an off angle for that. Let's see what do we play. Out by a bit. Look, it's within margin. He's just hit about a ball off the corner pocket, so under pressure. I think. Don't get me wrong, but I think Arian might be looking to carry him the nine. Possibly. Uh, if you cut the four, you can actually sort of play it into the pack. Maybe he just wants to at least get a good opening there. Oh, no, so he's played it that way. Yeah, I was a little lost why he was looking at the uh, shot that way. He had a grin on his face, so maybe yeah. he was looking at it. I'm not yeah. Sure. Maybe he was checking out the five because he thought, that's what i got to do after the four. Hard to know. Maybe checking if the seven goes. Uh, no, no idea what's going on in his head. Yeah. Granted, he's a fast thinker. So, um, oh yeah, I can't keep up with him or Lockie, so... Oh, nice. Brilliant save. Nice, lock. Easily locked Dewu up. Now, Dewu being a great jumper, I actually can't jump this one, obviously. <laughs> so... 
quite a straightforward kick. He's got to hit the right side. Yeah, he's, he's uh, clipped the left side. But it's landed safe, actually. It's worked, yeah. It's actually worked out all right. Five ball tied to the short rail. Now, this restate's not the hardest thing in the world. Um, and I believe I can do it. The rest makes it a little bit more challenging. But otherwise, it's not, not the worst. Five on the top, cue ball on the bottom. Very conventional, yeah. You want to try and land them as vertically in line with each other yeah. as possible. You want them to be, you want them to be in line on the rail. Yeah, exactly. Arian has not done a good job of that, and yeah, he's left he's the gone. pipe all open. He's, uh, he's gone and he's left it open. Just with a with some left, he can come off one rail and break that pack open. Pack. Oh no, that's unfortunate. The woos, the woos sort of broke that error. Yeah, he's, broken the pack and missed. Yeah, so the stroke was a bit punchy. You're right there, Mark. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stroke was a bit punchy, so he's forced um, missed the five ball, taking his eye off the pot pretty much. The right line by Arian. Not missed the pot, however. Good control. Good control. Although may have underrun it a little. It's an off-sided cut to the side pocket. Uh, the corner pocket's a bit tougher. He's electing to go to the side though. Let's see. Yeah, very tricky in the side. Very tricky. Makes it a lot harder playing a bit of check side to run it off the rail. Yeah. The, um, obviously. Explain to the uh, viewers actually who don't know what check side is. So check, si sorry, not check side, running side. My bad. Running so side and check side. Explain what they are. Yeah, it's uh, a very. Like, I don't hear those terms too often. So. Well, check check side and running side are snooker terms. Yeah. Running side is essentially putting side spin in the direction of the cue ball movement. So when it touches the rail, the cue ball will continue accelerating um, because the side spin grabs off the rail. Yep. Check side is the opposite of that. So you put. Oh, that's a great cut by our end. No, that's very nice, yeah. Uh, wrong side of the eight ball, however, but I think it's a uh, good. No, he's all right, I think, I think because he's not too far on the uh, left side of the eight. He's okay. Of, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, not no, too you're bad. right. My bad. If, you, if you're too far on one side, it could mess it up, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Keep running, going with what you're saying, yeah. Running side is side spin that agrees with the direction of the cue ball movement. Check side is obvious, is the opposite. Yeah. So if you're, um, so in that case, with the woo on the six ball, he's played running side in the attempts to get short side on the seven, if you guys remember that shot. Yep. Um, but it makes it harder because the object ball, obviously, the object ball gears. So if you're playing right hand side on the cue ball, the object ball will throw, will start spinning to the left. To the left, left, yeah. That's right. That, it's like, I like to think of it like gears. Yeah, if yes. you play right spin, the ball goes twist to the left. I think, the I think of it more as twisting. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. The, the term is gearing. Yeah. Um, and that tends to be how it happens. And so the initial path of the object ball um, gets thrown off to the direction of spin. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, just a little bit of technicality there. Um, if you guys do want to learn more about that, we do run through it in the uh, QSOC workshop, which oh, lovely, yeah. just went past How do you How do you find it in the uh, in the end? So I I did some of the planning for QSOC workshop Beautiful, this year. And, um, Definitely your strong suit. Yeah, I, I do tend to enjoy coaching a bit more. Um, although, you know, not not for everyone, obviously. Yeah, and yeah. I think I do spend a bit too much time coaching, and I should be you know, <laughs> trying to get myself better. I no, mean, you're definitely at a great level. Some uh, people, I don't know. I, I, I don't think I've got the accreditation for it yet, but you know what? We'll, we'll move on. Yeah. Peace out workshop turned out great. Um, term yeah, three, yeah. we normally... Don't get I helped many. out one of the beginners as well. You it was did? good fun, yeah. yeah it's Not for long, but it was just just to make sure that people build confidence. That's what I'm, I want to do. I'm yeah. not here to make them show like show them. Oh, pull such a hard game. You just gotta you know make it look easy and give them start off with the basics and just build up from there. And the more yeah. the more they uh, learn, the better it is. Yeah. Most people in the pool hall just come play with their friends, and it's yeah. really just like, uh, let's play to beat my friend. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And, um, I, I think pool is not all just about ego. You gotta, you know, put that to the side sometimes and just play, just to enjoy yourself, play to have a good time. 100%. Arian and Duwu have a nice friendly chat on the way back from the Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, actually, one thing I might mention first of all, score is four to two. Arian is up. 
we have a couple of social events coming We've up. We've got Social Pool in Burwood yep. uh, at 11 a.m. next all the, week. All our social pools are 11 a.m. usually. Yeah. So it's, it's a nice time compared to our 10 a.m. comps. Yeah. It's a nice time to have. 15th of October, if yes. um, this video gets posted up late, which I'm sure it will be. <laughs> um, 22nd, we're looking at another punchy break there. Good break. Dry. Big, big break, but dry. Th that might won't be one of Aryan's first dry breaks today. No, he had one, so he had one uh, in the frame before. In the frame before? Oh, did he? Yes. Was yes. that was that Dewey? Oh, okay. I believe. I believe. Yeah, okay. Don't quite know that. Yeah, these uh, smaller pocket tables obviously pose a couple of challenges. Yeah, if, you, um, if you're watching this and you play in the city quite a lot, um, table 11, 12, 13 um, are tight pocket tables. So, so what's the uh, inch size for each I have, pocket? I think, don't quote me, please don't quote me. 11, 12, 13 are four and a quarter. Four and a quarter, yeah. While tables on the outside of the outside, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know, 15, uh, just the main row of tables. The main set, yeah. yeah the main row of tables, they're, I believe, like five inches. They're fucking massive. You can fit yeah. two balls in them and they'll comfortably go in. Uh, yeah. So if you do come to the city and you're just looking for a fun game, 11, 12, 13 probably won't give you that fun because they're just frustrating to play on. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Um, table 14 is a bit looser, I believe. It's like four and a half or something. It's just, it's, it's locked It's up. interesting how they've got some that are four and a quarter and some that are four and a half, as per your observation. They just don't. They, the, There's no consistency with the uh, pocket sizes. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. That being said, I've been told that uh, the cloth is being changed in the city uh, soon. Soon? Uh, for two weeks of, re of recording from now. Um, oh, beautiful. And, and Burwood as well. Oh, I lovely pot there, I lovely pot. I know about city, the city. Then. Okay, yeah. Oh, because you, you don't go to Burwood as much, do you? That was a great pot by Ari. Uh, played it forward uh, and still left a window for a three. Yeah, Looking to play a double. Get the, uh, and missed it by half a diamond. It's unfortunate. But landed landed the two way pretty nicely, so that's good. I don't believe he's uh, he's waving waving an apology, so I don't believe he's purposely done that, and he's left it. Good kick from Dewu. Landed a bit open though, so hopefully now we're looking at three to the four. Isn't easy though. Um, you do need to. Orange choosing play top, so I think he's looking for the. Four. Double four eight. Yeah, what happened three. there? Um, Definitely landed it safe. So, like apologizes again. <laughs> it works out. I don't believe he's planned it, but you know, it, it is just how the angles lay out. Yeah. Um, yeah. He's not an easy pot. So. The missed the kick by half a ball. Yeah, I'll buy a little bit. It's good sportsmanship all around today. We've um, really good, yeah. Yeah, lots of people. Obviously, you can get lucky playing nine ball, and uh, lots of people have. That's a bad shot by Arin. Yeah, didn't roll it forward enough. Well, no, he's had to play. He's had to play left hand side to run it forward. Um, but, uh, interesting shot choice there. I don't know what he was trying to go for. Was he, was, he trying to run it down to the 8? I think he was trying to play the combo, but it wouldn't have left him a shot if he yeah. hit 8 thick on the left side. He would yeah. have bounced off the head rail. Um, the side pocket wasn't easy at that angle either. Good shot by Drew. Very nice. Textbook. He needed to be a little bit off the rail because he yeah. needs to play some bottom right just to come off the long rail yeah, and exactly. hit the six into the far corner. Um, it's one of those, um, one of these shots that you see a lot uh, playing nine ball. Oh. Out by a fair bit. That was interesting. I think um, fatigue starting to kick in a little bit, from what I can notice. From both of them, yeah. Arian was off to yeah. a great start. He slowed, slowed down, a bit. down a lot. Yeah. The thing about nine ball is you never have two players playing well at the same time. 
because you got one player on the table, the other player's sitting down. Yeah. And if you're a good player, but you can't run the table, you'd obviously leave them safe. Exactly, yeah. And so the player sitting down for the most part, he's uh, not getting any any table time or you know good shots in. Oh, uh, a nice carom there. Yeah. I Unintentional. Think, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it worked out great for Dewey. Um Yeah, he didn't look to see if it lined up. I think he just was trying to pop the seven. Pop the five. I think. I oh, pop the five. Sorry. Yeah. If the nine wasn't there, it comes right around. I think. It comes right around. The six lays up pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. But either way, works out. Score is four three. Closing in once again. Yeah. Obviously. I think Arian's getting a bit nervy. Nervy, it can especially happen, because yeah. Daniel's catching up a bit. It can definitely happen, yeah. Rocky's looking at me funny. He's got a grin on his face. No, he's just a bit tight. <laughs> we have our uh, Temple Invitational event at the end of the month. I've mentioned in the uh, last recording as well. Wait, we have that? What? Coming, yeah, coming this really? term. Holy crap, I thought, I thought we were done. Ah, Where's so that's that? after our social pool of, we've got three social pool events. Yeah. Oh, four actually, we're including the uh, collaborative event with oh, okay. ASOP. Right. So keen to see that happen. We haven't had a collaboration event in a while, so it should be good. We are obviously welcome a lot of other societies to come and work with us. I'm obviously not an event, like a great events personnel, just because I don't know when the events are going to happen. <laughs> I didn't even know that we were going to have a subcommittee dinner tonight, so... Oh, so... What's happening? You're racing tonight, or...? No, no, I'm still gonna go. Like, I've oh, got yeah? time to go. I'm gonna good man, good man. It's, uh, it's fine. Yeah. We'll, um, we'll have a new post introducing the new team, but it's looking quite strong otherwise. Yes, yeah. Nick, you, Nick president? Nick is president. Uh, I'm staying on subcommittee. Yes. I'm going to try I, to at least. I am the uh, vice president for now, so it should be good. Oh, are you VP? Yeah. I thought, um, I thought, oh, Esther's treasurer. Esther's treasurer. Yeah. Oh, no, she was. So now we've got uh, Dylan as treasurer. So things have cha changed up a little bit. I thought Dylan didn't want to do any subcommittee work. <laughs> oh, it's a good chance to do it. Make good, good escape, contact. good escape. Yeah. Look, that's all you can really ask for. Yeah. Like a tough shot for Arian. Um, if he punches this, it's looking good. Nice, nice. Yeah, good movement down table. Didn't need to hit that too hard, actually, because it had a lot of angle on it. So yeah, it was really yeah. good. Yeah. Bad read from me. I from where I, from what where I was sitting, it looked like it might have scratched. So I was thinking it had to come come on the long rail, but I guess not. Nice, nice. Oh, nice. Catch nice popped nice out to five. On the five. Yeah. On the five yeah. I mean, on the five. My bad. Yeah. My bad. Got a good shot on the four, though. She uses to roll it forward. Plays it simple. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Stop for the five, and I think cut for the six. Six for the seven. Yeah, if you stun out of the rail, I think it's okay. Mm. Yeah. Even if you play center ball, I think that's okay. Yeah, stun out of the rail. Exactly right there. Good shot. Six plus seven is going to be the tough shot here. Yeah, it's a tough one, but I think once you go seven, eight, nine, that's okay. Doesn't look well, too bad. Last so three this balls. One. I think if you're in the finals, yeah. you're expected to clear it. Yeah. Oh, what's happened there? So Aaron wanted to come off the short rail, then the long rail. So yeah, but one, he two, dodged it. Out. Yeah. Uh, dodged didn't it. connect with the long rail, however. Uh, now, a tricky cut here from the seven. You just got to go quite slow on it, but. This is the shot that hopefully can win him the frame here. Lovely. Good shot. Really Very good lovely. Shot. His, uh, his focus is coming back. I don't think you should try milk this very much. I think it's just to the rail. If it's a little bit off the rail, he's perfect. It works just fine. Lovely, uh, lovely. Although looking a little straight on the uh, nine, I think it should be okay. <laughs> he's, uh, it looks like he's a bit too, uh, a bit too nervous to take out the... Uh... <laughs> Look, it's not... That's bad refereeing by Lockie. Unprofessional. Unprofessional, mate. Terrible. Yeah. No, this is a tough but shot. Yeah, very tough. Especially with the wood catching up. Um, 
but to make this 6 3, 5 3. He's got oh, it. Good shot. He's got it. Where's the cue ball going? I think we're okay. So Lovely. That Excellent. was a great way to end the frame, actually. Was, yeah. So his focus is back, Arian, I can tell. Yeah. Definitely has potential for uh, running a rack, so yeah, puts him up to 5 3. It's definitely two, two great pots to come back in line, would bring his confidence way up. Um, evidently, with the 9 ball pot. Strong, strong pot. Yeah, of course. Actually, going back to uh, the committee, as I was mentioned, the yeah. directors. So we currently have Jason and Derek, both as our events directors. So similar oh, setup to me and Kathy with Derek yeah. on competitive and Jason on social. So yeah. very nice to have a bit of a change in dynamic there. And obviously we've seen both of them grow and yeah. learn. Well, so yeah, I was actually very happy with, to, to see them both reapply. Derek, for the director position. Derek, first year, Derek, First year at Macquarie Uni. Yeah. Um, Jason's second in UNSW. Yeah. Derek's definitely picked up the slack. I've been working with the both for the past year. Yeah. Derek's definitely picked up a good slack, good amount of the slack, um, and he's working hard. So mm, good definitely. stuff on Derek. And Jason, Jason's just an, an experience. I got to uh, play a season of league with him. Loved it. I think that he, he was definitely one of those guys who just improved so much throughout the season. Yeah. And it was good to see someone very committed. Kusak yeah. produces a lot of committed players, and like yourself, Renee. Well, so I'm so committed that I decided not to go for any <laughs> any portfolio position and decided to stay in subcommittee. Yeah. Um, so you'll be sticking with events or thinking of changing? Still, still sticking with events. Good man. Just, um, more Good focused man. on on playing pool than, mm. than than doing events or anything. So yeah, as yeah, as it, as it should be sometimes. Yeah. yeah. And I think um. I think I I think I work better that way. It's just, oh, it's a good pop by Ari. Yeah, very nice. Comes one rail back in line for Ooh, three. Awkward bridging here, possibly. It's okay. But I think he's, he's got, okay he's around. Yeah, oh no, he's all right around, around the four because yeah. he's um because he's left-handed. Oh no, fumbled it. Now, difficult cut here on the three. You're looking at a not so nice angle, but can the four he... goes into the side? Yeah, the four does go into the side. So, can he play it? all the way around the table or at least make it past around the nine because if you run into the nine you're, you're screwed to, so to say the least what I would do is I'd play let me look at it here yeah if it's tricky bit, to if I play a little bit of bottom I'll come underneath the nine and I'll come yeah. four into the corner I would have to play it a lot of top to come four into the side yeah opted to play a uh, Safety, safety overrun the object ball position, so the three ball, and the cue ball position is overrun it as well. Uh, unfortunate error. Six seven was a big, big wall to hide behind. Now this isn't an easy pot. Straight top, um, and he has to come off the long rail, come forward into the other corner. But he's choosing to play bottom. He got lucky by not scratching. Yeah. Three's now hanging. Iron with a uh, open shot here. Open shot, not the easiest. I believe he's going to play running side. Plays yeah. rail first. Oh, Very so he's gone rail first. Okay, mustn't have had the angle then. But lined up a, a very nice safety there, unintentionally. I think he flicked it. <laughs> flicked the safety. Yeah, Iron with a couple of flukes today. Obviously, not fully justifying his lead, but definitely helping him out for sure. Look, it is just the game. Flukes happen. That's nine more for you. Do with a uh, tricky angle here. Not sure how he'll be able to make good movement to get to the three, because the jump here can cause the cue ball to actually bounce off the table. When you jump such a long distance, I actually have seen a couple of instances of that today. In my in my first round, actually, I, mean, I saw one of them, where it's very easy to jump the cue ball off the table when you have it quite far, the object ball. This would be a highlight reel shot if you make it. Yeah, I'll so he'll have impression. to jump back, yeah. Whoa. Sorry, jump bank. Jump bank. Well, jump cut as well, possibly, would be quite hard. Yeah, oh, that's, that's one in a million. Jump uh, cut. Uh, the coping you think, dude, oh. they shoved it off the table and yeah. 
unfortunate, but it's it's what happens. You gotta get good control on those jumps. You, the last thing you wanna do is foul. Like you may as well go for a, a kick if you're gonna foul. <laughs> yeah. The, if the yeah, you have to play to your percentages when it comes to jumps. I'm not obviously a jumper myself, but Renee, you would be. So I think you understand that there are some times where you need to consider both the kick and the jump. Well, you need to have all the tools in your tool belt to yeah. win the match. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You need to be fluent at both. You gotta be able to jump. You gotta be able to kick. Um, exactly. I'm, yeah. I'm more of a more of a jumper than a kicker. Yeah. But uh, but either way, I'm comfortable. And um, Dewu, I think, is definitely more of a jumper than a kicker. Exactly. Aryan yeah. is a very strong kicker. So, yeah. Um, it varies between from player to player. Obviously, their background in pool and. What, yeah. they're, what they're interested in. Some some players are a lot more visual, so they're able to recognise those angles a lot better than um a lot better than others, um, and so that that gives you that gives you your preference as well. Yeah. The big angle on the seven and the eight's in the middle of the table, so he's got to play. He's got lots of pockets on his eight, but he's got to. Would you go Come seven around. in the side or seven in the corner? Uh, I would play seven in the side. And yeah, I as well. Swing it one, just come off the top rail and eight into the nice. same side pocket. Yeah, Beautiful. You've got to have yeah. the right angle. Yeah, you just don't want to land on the wrong side, which he has, unfortunately, has overrun it. Landed on the right side of the eight, but not good. the left. It's okay. It's, it's okay. You couldn't actually land on both sides because Ari. One, two, three right rails, oh, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Recovered well, but. You got to make sure now that you uh, focus yourself because it's a long distance pot here. You don't miss this nine, and especially are in someone who needs to get on the hill. It can be tricky. Could have made it a little bit easier by playing less top on that eight, but he pots a nine and it's, beautifully, um, beautiful pot on the nine. Narrowly misses the side pocket, but he's on the hill. Placing him six three. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to mention two of our last committee members as well, two of our new directors. We have Quan. She's, uh, she's on multimedia and marketing. Multimedia and marketing. And marketing. So she's nice. taking a big sort of heap of responsibility, but she'll obviously be able to find someone, hopefully, who can join her in her subcommittee. And any help, obviously, is very much appreciated. Video editing, photography on the multimedia side and the uh, cover photo making on the marketing side. That's a big break by, by Arian. Breaking the sound wave. Yes, but it's landed dry. <laughs> yeah, landed dry. Okay. I've, uh, I've been keen for a uh, nice video trailer for Into Uni next year. What do you think about that, Renee? Who's going to make it? <laughs> Come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to. I'd like to have you know one of those uh, hype music, you know, come oh, yeah. down on the shot and. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you've got like the. So, got the... so I'm putting that jacket on, and then it's like smoke. <laughs> putting the chalk on the cue, and you can see the dust from the chalk come off. Yeah, like really like high quality video editing. That would be the dream. Yeah, for one of got, our big events. You've got the stereotypical like bimbo. Yeah. In, in a short skirt. <laughs> like, oh, screw that. It's terrible. Man. <laughs> I like yeah. how Arian kept it simple. Um, yeah, nice uh, shot. Uh, he's landed a bit too high on the three. Trying to play it with running side just to get the cue ball up off the table. But yeah, difficult shot there. Very, touch. very vertical. Yeah. He's not taking cut. care of the short ver shot very well either. Yeah. Um, didn't so didn't think about the landing. Sometimes when you know that the pot's going to be bad, I stop myself and I think, crap, where's it going to land? I always get very worried about it. it. No matter how good your cue is, no matter how like much experience you have, you've got to get some things exactly right in your games. It's sometimes the make or break. Like, I mean, looking at your games, for example, I've seen you obviously progress quite far in comps despite you not having as, not, not having as much experience as your opponents. Yeah. In terms of just, you know, number of years played in pool yeah, or... Sure. Yeah. But that's... um. That's, that's a good shot by Dewu. Um, yeah. Screwed it back a little bit with the rest. Yeah, I think playing a bit of side there actually helped the uh, control. Yeah, maybe a little bit, but it's a bit hard to judge um, the uh, where that tip is when you're using the rest. But yeah. either way, it's worked out fine. 
Yeah. Um, Ooh, oh, popped out pretty badly, unfortunately, yeah. It's quite tough still for Ari. No, but as you were saying, yeah, I don't have as much time under my belt as most most, of most players, yeah. Play. So how do you find that actually affects your performance? Uh, I just can't take care of the shot very well. Um, yeah. I'm not, I'm not very not very cognizant about where I'm going to land the key ball. It's a good safety bar in behind the nine. Yeah. Um, Daniel's going to choose to uh, jump over this. Again, yeah, risky. And dropping his cube. Risky jump. You got, you got a pretty much full table jump here. We're looking. Big landing zone. So good possibilities connect. He doesn't want to pop this slope because the position to come back is ridiculously hard. So he just wants to connect and hopefully land a safe. Oh wow, he's potted he it. it. He's potted it. Wow, that's yeah. that's for the highlight reel, and we're we'll, uh, like, we won't is. show the next shot. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully he he's got a good good line of sight. Yeah. He's got to play the safety now. Yeah. Now you obviously got to be very careful here. If is he going to go? Arian is, on, Arian is on the hill, mm. so the mindset now of Daniel should be focused on trying to make sure that he can strike while it's hot. Yeah. He hasn't landed the safety, that's why I didn't want to say it. That's why yeah. I didn't really want to report it, but it works out. Definitely worked out. Five, for, six, seven, eight, nine. Daniel's in the Arian danger here, yeah. he, Arian can run this out for sure. Quite a big table. Again, just has to be careful. Yeah, oh, careless, careless, but difficult pot but nonetheless careless since we've seen him make some of those earlier in the match. Definitely in the first rack where he runs out. Yeah. Uh, getting a bit colder now, but I think it's just the fatigue setting in for both players. Exactly, sure. yeah. I actually wanted to talk to you about uh, amateur level nine ball because professional level nine ball, there's this expectation to run out. Now, obviously we don't sort of play with that expectation too often. We did see um, Tim Zing come pretty close to the most runouts we've had. Or Actually, I think he's had the most runouts in a final. For a nine ball video, I think he ran out twice two in, in, a his, row? in his race to seven. Not in a oh, row, okay. but he did have two in his race to seven against Will. It's uh, it's quite tough to do two runouts in a race to seven is hard to very do. tough, yeah, especially at our level. Um, yeah. So one thing I actually might mention is you have to obviously play with the strategy that you want to make sure that you win, that you give your opponents enough balls on the table so that they don't run the the frame. Yeah. And I actually found that that strategy seemed to work slightly well for me today. I mean, I did kind of abuse the system and <laughs> give the, uh, like I'd mess up sometimes on the third last ball intentionally, yeah. just to uh, you know see yeah. the other person, see the opponent struggle. But playing against Lewis today in my earlier match, I found that he carried himself really well. Similar yeah. to the way Du is playing, since they're obviously quite good friends, they uh, play a lot with each other, their style is very similar. Yeah. Puts a lot of pressure on you, and I did find that he was sort of making me play shots in a certain way and set the pace of the match. So, um, it was hard to adapt to what he was doing, and it did end up coming down to the nine on a hill hill. It's a good shot by Arnie. Yeah. Arnie's left himself a small window, and the cut's definitely doable. Yeah, definitely. He's going to come up and down. I think because the ninth glued to the rail, the short rail, sorry, the eighth glued to the short rail, yeah. he can't put too much power on this. And if he does, it will end up obviously positioning quite badly for the nine. So his idea was to come up and down because he played a yeah. little bit of left hand side. I think just because of the fact it was glued to the rail. That's why yeah. you have to come up and down on that. You yeah. can't get as much pace on the ball when it's glued to the rail. But because the eight ball is so close to the pocket, um, you could slow roll it and it, it would come out yeah. just fine. Um, okay. Unfortunate miss. Oh, oh the with it, the fluke. Oh, flukes it. But a tricky shot here on the nine. Yeah, eight balls close to the rail. Um, needs to be an exceptional QS to. Uh, this get is the for Dewey's survival here in the match. Six, so to bring it to 6 4. To bring it to 6 4, yeah. You want to make sure that you're focused on this shot here. For sure. You, you actually obviously have the uh, chance to overcut it since it's just hanging out, but he's nailed really it. Really strong pot by Dewey that nailed brings it. it back into the game. Yep. Good shot. Momentum's now shifted towards Daniel's side. I'm uh, keen to see him break. Keen to see him take off once again. A little bit of momentum from Dewey is going to bring his confidence way back up, so it'll be brilliant. Um, <laughs> <Cue ball. laughs> Foul. Foul. <laughs> No, um, yeah, just with what you were saying earlier, Mark, with 
ob yeah, obviously it's a strong strategy to um, to play certain balls and leave certain balls so yeah. that you can get the shot at the nine. Yeah. I personally really don't like people playing like that because it's not... It's not the way the game is designed to be played. No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. It's a winning mind. It's a it's a winning focused mindset and not a self improvement yeah, mindset. Yeah, exactly as well. Because yeah. ideally, ideally, you can win both ways. But yeah. if you can break and run consistently and win, you're you're a significantly better player yeah. than someone who will leave balls. I appreciate players actually a lot who. You know, we'll spend time talking to their opponent, saying, "Oh, what did I do wrong?" Or at least even playing the game that it's like meant to be played. The yeah. way it's meant to be played. Yeah. Well, again, it's just the. Um, Ooh, I'm lucky with the scratch. Oh, he's scratching the corner. Did he? Yeah. I think he's lucky. He's lucky that that uh, nine's the nine's covered locked. by the knuckle a little bit. So the one nine is not. I actually, locked. um, I actually have seen a shot on one of those uh, YouTube shorts where someone's actually played the ball through the jaw of the pocket in. Yeah. I definitely don't recommend that. So um, with these tables, with these tables, you can't because uh, just with the city tables, I'm not sure about Bellwood. I don't think so either. But the side pockets in the city tables are, um, are shimmed with metal yeah. shims. So oh, the, yes. um, the cushion doesn't actually compress. Oh, that is... World class. <laughs> that was a great breakout. Break that was a great breakout. Uh, yeah. Didn't hit the right side, so a bit unlucky. But he still got a safety shot. Big Aryan definitely can. Uh, he's gonna play safe. I'm glad he's not gonna carry him. Although he could try and get the uh, to onto the. Uh, I was, yeah, personally, I would have actually tried to pop the nine away from the side pocket. So I may have actually tried to push the two into the nine. That was that's what I was thinking at least, but. Then again, landing is could be critical if you do leave them sort of lined up with each other. Even if you tried to pop the two, you wouldn't have a shot on the three, and you'd have to play safe again anyways. Yeah. Do we here taking the aerial route? Good job. Nice escape. Drop. Nice escape there. That's a tough shot for Aaron. Yeah, tough. But it's tough cut. You'd cut this one, obviously. He made this night. He made a similar nine ball in rack bring himself to six so yes who knows that's exactly right opted Please. for the safety there yeah not it's my personal play. preference but it's the smarter play because the three's not got a pocket i believe so yeah so he's thought ahead obviously he's not just narrow-minded on the one the on the ball that's next to be shot and again if he wants to apply your strategy he doesn't really want to want to pop the two three yeah I think nine ball actually gives you the chance. Like, if you're just not interested in potting the ball, you just sometimes don't have to. But yeah. then again, like you want to obviously play the game the way it's meant to be played, and you want to play a safety, or you want to at least play some sort of two way. Play yeah. smart. Play smart, obviously, but and play to your skill. Yeah, that's that's all I can really. Say. Exactly. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Gives himself good line on the three. And a weak safety. Yeah, a bit too hard there. A bit too hard. Ball looks like it goes into the corner as well. The five is hanging to the right of it. So, uh, sevens of the eight. It's going to be tough, um, and that'll be the key shot of this rack. Um, but he lands if he if he lands straight on the seven and the eight. It's not a problem. Sorry, my bad. Not seven to the eight. Eight. Six to the seven. Six to the seven, six yeah. To the seven. Six to the seven. It's the distance between the two that makes it difficult. And eight to the nine as well. Oh, We're nice. Go nice cheat there. But, oh, there we go, actually. <laughs> Lance pretty straight as well. So just Lance need to tap this one in. Yeah. yeah. Punchy. No, it's good Good side. But good side on the five. Yeah, leaves well. him on a nice side of the five. So The result's correct. If he plays a bit check of... Check side to come. Yeah, check side. Yeah, exactly. To come down. It yeah. comes down on to... So he's got to come, he's on the wrong side of the six to come into the seven. Yeah. He needed to be on the bottom side of the six to come one rail into that line. Yeah. Um, so maybe underrun the uh, last shot. Yes. Oh, oh, he's rattled it. He's rattled it. But six has an open pocket. The nine possibly covering a slight gap of it, but well, I think it's okay. Six, the nine makes 
the side pocket a bit bigger. So Slightly, yeah, because you can you, you can bump off it yeah. and carry them off it. Do we opt in for the corner? Shot, really, really good, shot. yeah. Um, Very nice. Stuns it right over. On but the yeah, side of the eight to nine is now the tricky one here. Seven to eight should be okay. Yeah. Just have to stun both to seven. And possibly the edge. He's going to play top, which is not the right shot. And oh, miscue, miscue. That is one of the worst times to miscue. Uh, Still has to be reminded that uh, Aryan's obviously on the hill. Well, Dewey yeah. shouldn't have been lazy. He should have gone back to the extension. Yeah, grab the uh, Q extension or even just use the rest here. Yeah, well, with that shot on the seven there, he needs to throw the seven ball in. Here we go. Hit the seven thick, throw the seven in. Yes. Um, just so that he can hold an angle on the end. I'm keen to see how he's going to go from eight to nine here. I think he's just going to play it with a lot of force. Oh, not so much. Oh, unfortunate. It's a good choice. Very unfortunate. It's the right choice just to start it over. Yeah. He didn't have enough angle to comfortably get the cue ball over, so he had to force that angle a little bit, which um, takes takes some focus off the pot. Definitely, yeah. And the Wolves overplayed that by overplayed a long it. shot. Yeah. Would you have played draw on that? He looked like he was playing top, was he? I think he's underrun that, my bad. He wanted to come on top of a nine. Yeah. Uh, so I say, so he's going for a bank here now, is it? I would have. I think he did. Oh play my top. goodness. Where's the cue ball bank. going? Cue ball's landed fine. That is magnificent. Good shot. What a shot. What Dude, a shot to keep shots. him in the match. Fantastic stuff from Dulu. That is beautiful. Brings the score up now to 6 5, I believe. 6 5. Lovely stuff from Dewu. Arian's a nice person and lets Dewu put that five up because if he does break, it won't count. <laughs> He's gonna put it up. Hopefully, he puts it up. Five. 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 Yeah. Five. Oh, and you could have taken that score away from him. <laughs> Hour and 17, mate. Hour and seven. Yeah. That's how long the match has been going for. Lengthy. Not not too bad for a race to seven, but for nine ball. At this level, at this level, it's it's about it's running on time. Yeah. I think for a race to seven at an amateur level, you're looking at a bit around an hour. Look, I've heard stories of um of of some really sucky players playing nine ball. They can obviously run the table, so this is at a high level. They can run the table, but they choose to play the game really slowly so that the opponent gets really cold. And matches like that go on for hours and hours. And I've heard one match go on for four hours for a race to eight, nine ball. My goodness. They so, just play too slowly, is it? Well, they play I slowly think the pace... strategically. Yeah. Which is not great conduct, personally. Oh, oh. big break by DeWu. One ball goes to the wing. wing. Speaking of playing speed, actually, so obviously I've noticed due to the fatigue, the uh, Aryan and Dewey have slowed down a bit. But Lockie was pretty much holding himself up as quite fast paced throughout my Lockie, match. Lockie is always just a fast pace. Always very fast. I don't understand how he manages to think so quickly, but I think over time, over the sort of three, four years, four, I think he's been playing for four and a half, coming on to five years. Longer, way longer. Maybe even longer. But in terms of, at least from what I know. His speed is like he's probably just become so accustomed to that speed. It just seemed very unnatural for him to. Oh hello, what have we got here? Scratch, but is the nine hanging now? Nine hangs over the corner. Oh, oh there we go. Will Aryan opt for the two nine? I think he will. This Could will be we be looking at a a fast death for Dewu? Possibly, although table roll here you got to be careful of. However, Dewu has fought valiantly to get back to five, so... I appreciate his effort a lot. Yeah. I think he's uh, put in a lot. Arians fumbled it! <laughs> no That's good. just rude, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going back to actually uh, speed, playing speed. So, how's your speed been? How's uh, your playing speed been? My, my tempo varies slightly between games, depends... How I'm feeling that day. Do you find it varying between formats as well, or not much? 
Oh, uh, definitely. I play 8-ball a lot faster than I play 9-ball. Okay. Um, but I'm not I'm less fluent in 9-ball. Um, but tempo, tempo varies between players, and it just depends on how they feel. Slight miscue there from Dewu. Bad miscue too. Yeah. Big angle on three, so you got to pop the six or unlucky wrong side of the six. Um, yeah, tempo varies between players. It's completely subjective. Um, yeah. Not left the pot on, but yeah, landed it okay. Dewu, I believe, can still see a quarter or half the ball, so it's okay. Yeah. Um, what, do you, what do you think it up for here? Maybe a, a long table bank or... Nothing aggressive, definitely a safe. Uh, I think that's what he was aiming for. Cue ball avoiding the scratch, but the four ball landing... Yeah, bang on on that range short rail. In, I think. So he can cut this one in, yeah. I missed it. A bit unfortunate, a bit careless. Uh, Dewu played a nice shot. Um, you can play that a bit simpler by playing check side instead of running, so to bring the cue ball back up to the, the head rail, uh, the, the spot rail, the spot side, um, and playing the uh, object ball slightly wider. But uh, it would have been nice if you made that safety. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, back to playing speed. Yeah, playing speed is just what it is. Um, Who do you find in QSOC? tends to get their playing speed sort of bang on to match the format. Uh, or who do you admi- whose playing speed do you think works really well? For them. Mm, I wouldn't know because I'm not them and I just yeah, I don't know, I, just, I wouldn't know. Yeah. I mean personally personally if I'm feeling great on like nine ball league I was playing really quick. Yeah. Um, I was quite confident potting um, last season. So yeah, I was, I was playing really fast playing nine ball. Very um, nice from Arian, but hooks himself. Hooks himself by half a ball behind the eight. He's just played it slightly too much. A bit too much pace. I quite like uh, Valix's playing speed. He's actually one of those players which I've found that he's very he's very fluid. Yeah. When he needs to take time, he takes time. He actually looks at the shot. He doesn't sort of just go for it. When he's playing properly, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. he's not, when they're not, you know, fit drunk or whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, speaking I mean, speaking of, so obviously we have our uh, bar next to Burwood now. Oh uh, yeah. One third yep. bowling yep. bar. So we'd like to promote that as being sponsored by City Heroes. So once again, thank you for providing us with the tables and the opportunity. Uh, it's nice to be here at Town Hall for a change, as to the usual Burwood competition venue. But we have many social events here. We have our workshops, we have our competitions. Yeah, so feel free to come along, guys. Um, Any university students are welcome, so always very nice. It's good fun. Definitely uh, good not fun. Not signed up, I believe it's ten dollar membership fee to join. QSOC. And then if you're at UNSW, it's like it's slightly I think cheaper. ten. So it's ten for everyone, oh, but it? UNSW. Uh, when it comes to paying for comps, UNSW's ARC policy, because ARC's also yeah. sponsoring us. Yeah allows you to get a two dollar discount from oh, so 12 to 10. oh brilliant yeah, yeah. very lovely and yeah. looking yeah. now here at it was a bad scratch by Arian. yeah um, Arian scratch it would bring them to hill hill tricky um, just roll forward for the eight and then roll the nine to the side um Arian's pacing around the table is a little bit he's a little bit tight now so yeah glad that taking his time with this but it is quite straightforward I hope that we get to see a Hill Hill Thriller That would be, today. That would be brilliant. And personally, knowing Daniel, he's, um, he's been wanting to win a, win a comp for, for quite a while now. Yeah. And uh, seeing, him, seeing him win a comp would be a great, a great deal. I mean, it would mean a lot to him as well. Definitely. Arian's going to sit down here and spit. Oh. Bad miss there. Under pressure. The pressure got to him, I think. Personally, not a fan about how Arian was pacing around the table. But, <laughs> you know. Just probably a bit agitated from the nerves, but again, yeah, you want to try and stay still. Well, you, while you don't want to get into the line of sight either. Of course, yeah. Not, not great sportsmanship. It's not, yeah, it's not respectable to the uh, to the player. Right, we'll see if Arian pops this. 
And he misses it by half a ball, by a ball actually. Oh yeah, tricky though for Dewu here. It's Looks like a bit of a nine ball battle going along. It's potable. It's um it's cue balls off the rail, got plenty of room to bridge. Nine ball nine balls Ooh. just behind. Just in front of the rail. So it's, it's well potable. Just needs to bear down, not move. Um, nice stroke. And he's cut it way too thin. How's the landing looking though? It's not too bad, although Iron definitely does have a shot here. It's very, very potable here. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Has to watch out for the scratch though, obviously, if he plays this a bit too hard because he's playing the top. But no, he's just gonna roll should in. be okay to roll in. And the match is for Iron. Seven, well done. Six, seven, five. seven five, crowning our new nine ball champion for QSOC. First time seeing Arian in a solo setting. Yeah. And obviously we've seen him in Inter Uni, we've seen him in our doubles final. But now seeing him in a solo setting, it's interesting to see how he plays with a, uh, you know, while he's being filmed and while he's, you know, in a very high pressure scenario. So yeah. well done to him. And well done to everyone else who came today. I was actually really happy with the way everything was played. And we'll uh, sign off from there, Renee. Yeah, see you guys.